Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to take uh, this giant Lightning McQueen here that's red and we're going to paint it the same color as Fabulous Lightning McQueen. But first I'm going to take the bottom assembly off and I'm painting the white letters on the wheels. You see the white letters on this wheel, on these wheels? The wheels are already red but the tires are, are white letters. I'm going to paint them white. Then I'm going to take all the stickers off. Then I'm going to paint it a layer of black and then blue. It's not quite the right color blue someone pointed out, but if I put the black on first, it might make it deeper. So if this is your first time to our channel, here's what we have, folks. We're the number one channel on the internet for Pixar Cars Customs. We made all these custom cars. There's a fabulous Mater, made out of Mater, obviously. And here is a Zebra Light and McQueen. They are all custom. People send in suggestions, I make them for them. Look at this, here's Thomas the Train as a zebra. And over here we have a bunch more zebra cars. And I think this is Thomas as Fabulous Thomas in honor of Doc Hudson. So you guys have been coming back to watch these videos all the time. I appreciate it. And thanks again, every one of you for watching. So what I'm gonna do first, guys, I'm gonna separate the body from the wheels. I already have the screws out, so watch this here. It comes right off and separate it in two pieces actually. Look, a piece in the back, the spoiler, and I can peel that off. And I'm going to peel these stickers off, and this is going to be all painted. And first thing I'm going to do, guys, here's the bottom frame. Um, look at the bottom of it, you see all the detail. You can see the, the struts for the front wheels, the drive shaft, rear end all drawn in there. It's pretty good. And this is pretty big too, so I'm just going to get the white paint out. In a little while, but first I'm gonna get the hair dryer. Someone told me to use a hair dryer, heat the stickers, and peel the stickers off. So let's get the hair dryer going right now. This is my wife's hair dryer. I'm gonna heat up the stickers on the side. Well, here it is, guys. All the stickers are off. Um, every one of them, even the back bumper. And one where they are, the stickers are right here. I put them up on the back wall here. There's the one that was on the bumper, and there's one of the ones that was on the roof. Or the angel hood, I mean. The one from the roof is right there. They said 95 Lightning McQueen. It didn't come out very good. Wait, no, it's up here. There it is, see? Didn't come out very good at all. But if I hadn't used a hairdryer, it would have been terrible. So just uh, bear with me. Now I'm going to go clean the outside. The guy that told me to use the hairdryer also told me to clean it with vinegar. So I'll be right back when I clean the vinegar and see if I can get the gunk off the sides. There, it's all polished now. It looks like new and red. I'm going to get ready now. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I think, is uh, clean this workbench up to make some room. And then I'm going to take the base and paint the white letters on the tires. Well, I finally cleaned up the cars. I actually put this car away with them. I had to dig through a pile of cars to get that one back. Okay, let's get the white paint out. I'm going to do all those white letters on those wheels first. Got some white paint right here. Just going to put a little blob there, and I'm going to go all around the tires and see if I can make them nice and white. There, how's that look? Not bad. So far, so good. Here's the car. Red wheels, white letters. Okay, now I'm gonna take the frame, the body I mean, and tape over all the windows and the eyes. Okay, there's the eyes taped up pretty nice. Now I'm gonna do these little um, flames here. There, we did the eyes and the flames. I'm not gonna do the windows because you'll see the windows are black. So I'm gonna do the windows in black later. And the back of of course, I'll do this in blue. So let's get ready for painting the first coat. Of, I'm just gonna put a big coat of black on it first and I'm gonna spray it blue. Okay, so let's get organized. Okay, here comes the black. Okay, 
Okay, that's the spoiler. Now I'm gonna put some blue on top. Right on top of the black while it's still wet. Let's see what happens. That's not too bad. And then I'm gonna leave that dry. And put it back together later. And I'm gonna put that over there. Whoops. And now I'll do the car. It's gonna take a lot of work this year. There you go, folks. That looks pretty good guys, I know it's not the exact right color blue, so we'll come back in the morning when it's dry and put in the rest of the stripes on it. Well, here it is the next morning, let the paint dry, let's see how it looks. It's still quite tacky and um, needs a few more hours, I can put it up in the sun for a little while, see what happens. It's not even close to being the right color, Anthony was right. So I'm going to try something different, I'm going to try and paint the whole car with a brush, using this big wide brush with a dark blue peacock blue paint that I've been using for all the other fabulous cars. Let's get the paint out, okay? It's much better blue. Let's see if I can paint the hole back in. This is the back part here, the bumper. Better match. I'll put that over here out of the way. Now I'll try and do the rest of the car. Big difference. Yeah, that looks a little better. Let's check the color compared to the color. It's almost the same. Now let's leave this dry again for a few hours and we'll come back and start putting it together and putting the stripes on it. Well, I'm back after several hours and it kind of looks a lot better. The blue dry pretty nice. It's very close to the color of the car. So I'm gonna go with that. Let's peel the tape out the eyes, see if the eyes survived. I hope they did. First thing I'm gonna do. There's lots left to do yet. Oh yeah, that came good. Check it out. Perfect. Still a bit damp when I'm peeling it off. You can see it on my fingers already. There, I'm happy with the eyes. Perfect. Now I'm going to take this is the back of the car here, and I'm gonna before I put it together, I'm gonna write the word Rusty's up in here, and 95 down here, and for dock cuds in here, and some brake lights, obviously. 
And on the top here, I'm going to write Rusty's in big yellow letters. Let's get the paint out. We got a brand new brush and lots of yellow paint right here. And it looks like there's a line right across the bottom of Rusty's in the spoiler. See it? And it starts with the R way over there in a big line. R-U-S-T dash E-Z-E. -E. Let's see how this works out. Check it out, Rusty's right there. Perfect. Now I'll turn it over in the back and see what they have in there. They have Rusty's in big letters across the back. I just hit the car with yellow paint right here. There you go. And let's see. Looks pretty good. And I have to get some red for the brake lights. And on the bottom right here is a 95. So I'm going to write 95 right here in yellow. There we go, 95. And then I need some um, white and some red and some black. So right across the bottom it says for Doc Hudson. See if I can type, write that real light with white. You know, nice pointy brush for Doc Hudson. And it's kind of in uh, different letters. Doc Hudson, and now we need some uh, tail lights right here. Some red tail lights. It's probably easier to do this apart, like I said, rather than put it all together. And then another one over here. Uh oh, my fingers in it. And there's some white on the inside. And there's a little bit of black there, or gray, so I'll try some gray. It looks like there's some gray on each side of Rusty's. So I'll color these two gray. And the license plate's kind of grayed out. I can't really read it. Okay, let's have a look. Rusty's. Rusty's, tail lights, 95 for Doc Cousin. Okay, the back's pretty much done. And I'm turning around, and we'll see it says Rusty's. Okay, let's put that aside, and we'll come back in a few minutes and start doing the decals on the main car. Okay, we have the back, that's done. And we'll move this out of the way for now. And this is the front. We're gonna put the car back together now. Um, here's the wheel assembly. I'm gonna paint it the other day. So then we'll see how it looks. Okay, we'll come right back when it's all together. There, he's all back together, white letters and black tires. Now I have to put some work to the engine hood. And let's take the tape off the little things here first, the, the flames. That's one. Another one right here. Perfect. And put the headlights back on. I think I saved them up here. There's one headlight. The other one, it's got number 95 still on it. I don't know if I'm gonna leave that on or not. Cut that off. Here we go. And I can put a nice white smile on with white paint I have already out here. And see how that looks. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna have to get uh, Number, I have to write rust ease on the engine hood in big yellow letters again. There, that came great. 
just like the rusties. And now I have to write number 95 in the four corners of the top of the roof. So I'm gonna have to get a smaller brush. There, 95 on four corners of the roof. Looks good. Okay, now I'm gonna do the windows in black, and in between the windows here, I'm gonna do that black. So let's do that now. Okay, there's the windows and the back windows. I can touch up the blue a little later, but that looks pretty good. To fix the tail lights again, I think. Okay, all that's left now is the sides that say. Well, actually, the 95 goes in the back too, right in the back on each side. Let's put the 95 on. There, all the stuff now is fabulous Lightning McQueen. Let's leave that dry for a bit. We'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, we're all set to go, guys. The final, the final thing. I'm gonna put fabulous Lightning McQueen on the side. Matches this here. White lettering across here. Fabulous Lightning and then McQueen in bright yellow. So that's a white right here. Fabulous Lightning! Now we'll do McQueen in big yellow letters. Fabulous Lightning McQueen! Now flip it over to the other side. Fabulous Lightning. Fabulous. Lightning. I'm running out of room already. Fabulous lightning. Now in big yellow letters. McQueen. And I'll tell you guys, this was quite the project. It was bigger bigger job than I thought. I'm used to doing the small cars, but this is like a hundred times bigger than a small car. And it took me a whole lot longer. I don't know how long the final product's gonna be, but thanks for watching it all the way through. I hope you appreciate the work that went into it. Fabulous Lightning McQueen. I think that's about it, guys. Let's uh, clean this up a little bit and have a look. Let's have a look, guys. There is the authentic die-cast Fabulous Lightning McQueen. And here is Giant Lightning McQueen. Got Rusties in the hood. Same color eyes, perfect. 95 on all the right places on the roof. Rusties on the spoiler. Fabulous Lightning McQueen on the side. White wall, white leather tires. 
What do you think? I want you to hit that like button up here and hit the sub button and the subscribe button and share whatever it to all your friends and how's back look? I put my finger in the tail lip, that's okay. For dock cuts, number 95, perfect. And this side looks even better. I think uh, we've got to work this too. You gotta give me a thumbs up for that, okay? So um, thanks for watching me make this video. It took a whole lot longer, like I said, than I thought, but it looks pretty good. And here's the original. And here is the new version. It used to be red. Thanks for watching, folks, and I hope you enjoy the video and have a great day.